Hey, it's Dan from Smoky Goodness, and here in the noisiest neighborhood in the known universe, we watch the Cooking Everything Outdoors channel with Gary House right here on YouTube, and you should too. Come to think of it, you're already here, so that's cool. Shut up, dog. Okay, everybody, today we're taking that Dutch oven mountain man breakfast you like so much, and we're kicking it up a notch in the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. everything outdoors show i hope you try this at home today because it's fall and it's getting later in the year what i'm going to be doing is taking that mountain man breakfast that i made gosh what was it like three years ago and we're going to kick it up just a notch what i mean by that is is that normally when i make a mountain man breakfast i'll make it in one dutch oven because we're cooking in dutch ovens again and then i will take another dutch oven and i will make my biscuits but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them both together today and we're gonna bake it all in one Uno dish. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients real quick. Now, first off, I'm using a 12 inch Camp Chef Dutch oven. What I have here is about eight small cremini mushrooms that I have uh, just basically sliced up. One medium yellow onion that I have chopped up. About five uh, stalks of green onion that I've just uh, diced up. Eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. I like sharp. A uh, good Colby mix would be uh, absolutely awesome also. I have a dozen eggs. Some Jimmy Dean regular sausage. If you wanna kick it up, get some heat on it and get their hot style. And uh, Jimmy Dean, make sure you send me a check for this plug. We're gonna be using uh, Biscuits out of a container. I know, cheater biscuits, but that's the way we're gonna roll today. Uh, this is just a pack of like eight big biscuits. I have a full uh, one pound of shredded hash browns. Salt and fresh ground black pepper. Okay, so let's get our Dutch oven heated up and we'll start cooking our sausage and onions. So what I want to do, of course, is use gloves because it's gonna be hot. Now, typically when we're baking, we're going to want uh, on a 12 inch Dutch oven, only nine coals on the bottom, but I'm gonna be sauteing right now. So I wanna kick it up and I'm probably gonna be putting at least 20 on there that I'm not gonna really count. And then I wanna get my Dutch oven on the top of that. Just like that. And you'll notice that all I have is a 32 gallon garbage can lid uh, in my Weber kettle. All right, now, <clears throat> you can put a little bit of oil on the bottom of your Dutch oven if you need to. I'm just going to put my sausage in there. We're going to use the grease from the sausage uh, as um, our oil, if you will. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to break this up real quick. Even though it's going to bake for at least 35 to 40 minutes, after we put everything together, I still want to be safe and get my sausage cooked through. And we'll take our yellow onion that I've diced up here, chopped up. We're going to add that. And then all I want you to do at this point is just saute this until the sausage is cooked and the onions are translucent. Our sausage is done sauteing. I've actually taken it off the heat so I can do the next process. And we'll just let it sit aside right there. That Dutch oven's pretty hot on the bottom and it's actually gonna start preheating that lid a little bit, so that's a big win. Have my dozen eggs in a pretty decent sized bowl. And actually I wanna get some uh, pepper in there. Just a pinch of salt, not a lot because there's definitely some salt in the sausage. Okay, so we got these nicely mixed up. And now what I want to do is I'm going to add my biscuits to this. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what we're going to do here. I just want you to drop it in the egg mixture right there. So we're going to go for six. All right, so let's let those soak for about five minutes and we'll get our potatoes and the mushrooms and onion and get that all mixed up next. Okay, so let's start mixing all this up. Uh, this is our hash brown mix. 
and we're going to add our mushroom, our green onions. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. And then what I want to do is I want to pour my egg into this. Now, there's no real great easy way to do this other than just pour it out. Let's try to keep the biscuits. Okay, and then just get in there and stir all this up. Sausage and onion is done where I want it. The Mountain Man hash browns are ready. The biscuits are ready. So we need to put this together, but I've still got too many coals down on the bottom here. So I wanna knock some of these off. Let's get our Dutch oven back on there. Okay. We're going to add our hash brown mixture. And I want to get that and the sausage mixed up really good. So we're going to get that leveled off. I'm going to get in here with my biscuits. And I just want to lay those. I always start with the center one and lay my biscuits around. They've soaked up all that egg mixture. Let's get the lid on there. Make sure it's not too hot to handle. And on the top of this, I'm going to want about 15 coals. So let's take a look here and see what we got. And that's going to look pretty good. It's probably because they're so small. There's definitely more than 15 there, but that's what I want. I want a ring of coals around my perimeter. So that's what I'm just 30, 35 minutes, somewhere around there. We'll take a peek. Okay, so we've been cooking for about 35 minutes now. And we'll get this thing here and take a quick peek. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, so... Our biscuits have browned up really nice. We've got some good rise, but the egg mixture still needs to cook. So what I want to do now is I want to take my coals off the top so I don't burn my biscuits. And uh, we'll let this continue to bake. So I'm going to do that, and we'll be back in probably another 10, 15 minutes. I think we're ready, so let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now we need to add some cheese. All right, let's finish melting that cheese and then we will serve it up. If the flies will let us, we're gonna take a sample of our delicious Mountain Man breakfast. And look at that cheese melted on there. Oh my gosh. Do not count the calories. Get one of these out of here. Wow. Man, will you look at that? All right. Whew. Hot. Oh my God. <laughs> You've got to try this. Hey, I'm out of here. Mountain Man Breakfast Upgrade. Not bad. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. But without my sponsors, none of this would be possible. Camp Chef at OutdoorCooking.com and Island Grillstone at IslandGrillstone.com. Two great companies with really fantastic products. Go visit them, go say hi, and go buy something. If you want to find out more about me, you can find me on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, iTunes, and of course, cooking-outdoors.com, where I'm always coming up with something crazy and new.
This is Gary House, and I will see you when I see you.